Three people have been killed and several injured after a gunman opened fire at a shopping mall in Denmark's capital Copenhagen. The incident occurred on Sunday when the suspect entered the large Fields shopping mall located between Copenhagen Airport and the city centre with a massive rifle. The suspected shooter, who was described as an ethnic Dane, 22 years old, has been arrested and will face questioning by a judge on Monday, the police said. The suspect had a rifle and ammunition when he was arrested, police said. The victims of the shooting are two Danish 17-year-olds and a 47-year-old Russian. Among the injured, three are said to be in a critical condition, reports said. Danish police said the suspected shooter, 22, had mental health issues and there is no indication of a terror motive. It is also known among psychiatric services. Beyond that, I do not wish to comment. Copenhagen Police Chief Sorin Thompson told the press conference. He added that the victims appeared to have been randomly targeted and there was nothing to indicate it was an act of terror. Our assessment is that the victims were random, that it is not motivated by gender or something else, he said. The police chief could not yet comment on a motive, but said there seemed to have been a preparation ahead of attack and that the 22-year-old suspect was not aided by anyone. As things stand, it seems he was acting alone, he said. The police so far have no indication that other attackers were involved and urged shop owners to preserve any video surveillance footage they might have. Fields has more than 140 shops and restaurants. The multi-story mall is on the outskirts of Copenhagen, just across from a subway line that connects to the city centre. Prime Minister Meet Fredriksen said Denmark has suffered a cruel attack. She further encouraged the Danes to stand together and support each other in a difficult time. Our beautiful and usually so safe capital was changed in a split second, she said. A deadly shopping mall attack took place as Denmark celebrated hosting the first three stages of the Tour de France for the first time. Eyewitnesses said that there was panic among shoppers as gunfire rang out. One of them named Isabel told Danish media. Suddenly we heard shots. I think I heard 10 shots and then we ran through the mall and ended up in a toilet where we huddled together in this tiny toilet where we were around 11 people. It's really hot and we wait and we are really scared. It's been a terrible experience, she said. A concert by British singer Harry Styles at a venue less than a mile from the scene was cancelled. Crowds had already gathered inside the venue when the show's cancellation was announced. Fans, many in their teens, were escorted by police to underground stations where parents picked them up, reported Danish media. Taking it to Twitter and Snapchat, Styles said, My team and I pray for everyone involved in the Copenhagen shopping mall shooting. I'm shocked. Love, Edge. Hans Christian Stolz, a 53-year-old Swede who came to pick up his children, said, My daughters were supposed to see Harry Styles. They called me to say someone was shooting. They were in a restaurant when it happened. We thought at first people were running because they had seen Harry Styles. Then we understood that it was people in panic. We ran for our lives, his daughter Cassandra said. Shortly after the shooting, the Danish royal family announced that a reception due to be hosted by Crown Prince Frederick to celebrate hosting the Tour de France's first three stages had been cancelled. Several neighbouring leaders expressed horror at the shooting and offered condolences to the families of those impacted. Denmark saw a major terror event in 2015 when two people were killed and six policies 
Officers were injured during an attack on a cultural center and synagogue in Copenhagen. The gunman was later killed in a shootout with police. Denmark's Prime Minister condemns the shootings in Copenhagen, which killed two people and injured five police officers. A cultural center hosting an event titled Art, Blasphemy and the Freedom of Expression was sprayed with gunfire, killing one person. It was being attended by a controversial Swedish cartoonist who had previously depicted the Prophet Muhammad as a dog. Shortly afterwards, a member of Copenhagen's Jewish community was shot dead outside a synagogue. Police later killed a man they suspected of being behind. The shooting comes a week after a mass shooting in neighboring Norway where police said a Norwegian man of Iranian origin opened fire during an LGBTQ festival, killing two and wounding more than 20. Poor in Oslo, Norway over the weekend. People just out enjoying Pride Weekend were gunned down in what Norwegian officials call an extreme Islamist terrorist attack. Authorities say two people, a man in his 50s and one in his 60s, were killed in the attack that also left at least 21 people injured, 10 seriously. It happened across three locations, including the popular London Pub, a widely known gay bar that has been there since the late 70s. Norwegian authorities say they arrested the suspect, a 42-year-old Norwegian citizen of Iranian descent. You should also be kept in mind is that the country has some of the strictest gun laws in Europe, which license to own firearms, usually only available for hunting or sports shooting, following background checks and with an almost total ban on automatic weapons. Carrying a firearm in public is strictly prohibited.